it is a very very rainy day today i am cold i am wearing a very cute like autumn top underneath this you know cardigan but i'm cold so i'm wearing this cardigan um over it and i make myself a lovely cup of tea as well some earl grey tea one of my fave let me know in the comments what your favorite tea is i think earl grey is one of my favorites in this video i thought i would just casually chat to you about some of my favorite books to read on like a rainy day or just like some rainy day book recommendations rain autumn it's all cozy i absolutely love these days actually like not for an entire week it's been going on for quite a few days now in the netherlands and i do hope that the sun will come out asap however a couple of days of just raininess and coziness is definitely totally okay with me so here are some of my favorite rainy day book recommendations the first one i have talked about quite a few times already but it is called before the coffee gets cold this is a very beautiful and kind of simple story it's like a magical realism that takes place in a little cafe in japan and in this cafe people have the opportunity to go back in time to either say something that they wish they said to someone so it is a very kind of simple story it just takes place in this cafe and you follow a few characters who want to go back in time for you know a specific reason at first i expected it to be a little bit boring but i was so sucked into this book because of the characters you really felt for these characters and like the reasons they wanted to go back in time and it was just absolutely beautiful i think it was very emotional as well there's also a sequel which i absolutely loved and it is the perfect short book to read on one of these days because it just is very magical. The next one is called Wintering. This is a non-fiction book. And even though it is autumn right now, I think you can definitely still read it like right now in one of those days. Wintering is a non-fiction book about how people, and specifically in Scandinavia, how they kind of conquer the winter and the cold and just, you know, because so many people feel like during winter they get very sad. But in this book it is really much about the beauty of winter and the beauty of the cold and everything that brings, you know, that winter brings with it. And how we can kind of embrace the winter and the cold and the rain instead of trying to shy away from it or be like, I, you know, I just want to wake up in summer basically it was a very beautiful one and very inspiring and super interesting to read how different people you know live and what they do to just embrace the winter and the cold i actually got this one as a gift so i thought it was so thoughtful i never heard of it before but it's definitely a very good book to read during these cold and rainy days of course you can't go wrong with like a good thriller or a fantasy and i think a thriller that immediately came to mind was night film this is a book that has been talked about a lot on booktube like years ago but maybe new viewers haven't heard of it before so night film is this very interesting and big thriller book it was definitely an entire journey which is about this girl who is found dead and a suspect is her father who is like this very mysterious and notorious filmmaker i believe he was called cordova and it is all about trying to find out what exactly happened but throughout the book you also see these really sort of cool illustrations and documents and it really is this whole journey through all of these things trying to find out what happened it took me a long time to read it but if i think of an autumnal book i immediately think of that one it's a very interesting one let me know if you've read it so many people have read it but then the reviews are very mixed i really enjoyed it but i'm curious what you thought of it a book that i recently read and really enjoyed is called the x hex this is like a fantasy romance it was a really quick read i read it in one day and it's about this girl who broke up with her boyfriend or like her boyfriend broke up with her and she's a witch and she was very sad and she was like you know what i'm just gonna drink the pain away take a long bath and i'm gonna curse him you know i'm gonna light a candle and just i'm gonna curse him but she thought it was just for fun you know she didn't expect it to actually work but then she cursed him and then like years and years later he comes back to town and you know shit is going down in this town because there is a curse so they have to you know lift the curse it's not necessarily scary but just spooky and fun and it's a romance and i normally don't really enjoy romance too much i think with fiction romance if it's like contemporary fiction romance i would rather read about real romance just like a real um story of actual people that fell in love but if it's like a fantasy romance i don't know i just enjoy that more because there is just this element to it that is fantasy and makes it unreal <laughs> you know what i mean um that's a weird explanation so yeah i like non-fiction romance 
and fantasy romance-ish. So that was a very fun one and a very quick read and just, you know, perfect for October and autumn and rainy days. Another one that is perfect to read in one day is called Einstein's Dreams. This is one of my favorite books. It's a very interesting concept. It's basically sort of a fictional account of things that Einstein could have dreamt of or could have thought of whilst he was coming up with his theory of relativity and time and different ways that time could potentially tick. So for example, backwards or in a circle and every little chapter is like a short story and you follow a couple of characters who are living through this very mysterious type of time. It was quite magical and very just, how do people come up with these things? So interesting. And what I loved about this is that every single chapter was just a few pages long and I felt for all of the characters. This writer was able to make me feel for these characters within a few pages. So I think that was absolutely brilliant. It is a very short book and you will be able to finish it within one day. I could not put it down. Of course, if I think of rainy days, I think of fantasy. Some of my favorite fantasy books are Mistable. And I finally read the first book, I like finished the first book. I also just love um, A Song of Ice and Fire, like Game of Thrones. And also The Poppy War is also a great one. The Poppy War is one that I recently read as well. The Poppy War is definitely a very tough read and a very intense read but I heard that just the entire series is amazing. I thought the first one was already brilliant. So I'm definitely going to read the next two installments, I believe as well. And same as with Mistborn, I recently finished that one so great and the cliffhanger was just like oh my goodness, I want to continue reading right now, but these books are so big. So it always takes me a very long time to read a big fantasy book, but they are definitely on my TBR and I will read them one day. Another one that I would like to mention is a middle grade called Baker's Magic. And if you've been following my channel for years now, you may have heard me talk about that one before. Baker's Magic is a very cute middle grade story about a girl who apparently has magic powers and she can kind of put that magic into baked goods. So she's going to help a princess kind of escape. You also have pirates and with the help of a baker she's going to use her magic to help these people so princesses pirates baking magic it was so just lovely and i absolutely loved it and again it's quite a short one it's a middle grade so you will probably be able to finish it within a day i thought it was brilliant and i really want to reread it one day because it's been years since i last read baker's magic okay so now i'm hot again drinking this entire cup of tea Look at this shirt, it's so cute. It was actually um, a mini dress, but I don't know why I keep buying mini dresses online when I know they're going to be too short. I'm like one meters, 80 centimeters, like five foot 11. So everything is too short for me. So I don't know why I still um, decided to buy it. But now my grandma made it into a top. So it's like shorter, she just cut up the skirt and now it's a perfect little autumn top and it's so cute. But of course, I cannot not talk about The Night Circus. <laughs> I mentioned this book in all of my recommendations videos, but come on. The Night Circus screams just coziness and autumn. If you don't know The Night Circus, this is a book all about this magical circus that appears in the night without any notice. But the main premise of this book is about two magicians who are having this sort of magical competition with each other. Of course, there's some romance involved. It is very just mesmerizing and the writing style is very poetic and I've read it twice now and it's still one of my favorite books so I'm pretty sure that it will be forever and I've said this before I have to reread this book because it's been five years since I last read The Night Circus. Shall I make it a goal of mine to read it in 2021 still? That would be great because I really hope it's still one of my favorites. This may come as a surprise, but I like to read non-fiction on days like this, even though you would think like, oh, I wanna go to a magical, fantastical land with romance and, you know, wizards and dragons and coziness. But I like to read non-fiction and I'm actually reading a book right now called The End of Everything, Astrophysically Speaking, which is a non-fiction book all about possible ways that the universe could end in like five billion years. So we don't have to worry about that yet, but it is a very interesting one where the writer, a scientist is talking about how she interprets the ending of the universe. <laughs> What I love about this book is that she is so passionate about what she's writing about that you can just feel the passion kind of bursting over the pages of this book. And it is very interesting, also kind of a little bit scary. Like, will the universe freaking explode in a ball of fire or will it like crush into itself? <laughs> 
but luckily we don't have to worry about that yet. But I just generally like learning new things, hence why nonfiction is one of my favorite genres. So I can basically read it any day, any time, I don't care. Let me know in the comments some of your favorite nonfiction books as well as just some, you know, gloomy, rainy day book recommendations because I personally don't read many like romance or things that you would normally think of you know, of reading on a rainy day. So maybe you guys can leave some recommendations in the comments for you guys. <laughs> so everyone can just get some recommendations. So these were some of the books that I just instantly thought of when I looked outside and saw the rain pouring down on this very autumnal day. I really hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to comment something, which you don't know what to comment, comment a little rain cloud emoji. If you want to follow me on my social media, of course you can. I always link everything down below in the description. And last but not least, I really hope you're having a very beautiful, maybe rainy day, but it's cozy. And I will hopefully see you in my next video. Bye.